This was the demonstration French authorities tried to stop. 11 days after the killing of 17-year-old Naël by a policeman in the suburbs of Paris, the sister of another man who died in police custody in 2016 continued her fight for justice. We have always demonstrated peacefully and today the police department blocked us on the pretext of recent events. Asa Traore had to break through a police cordon to carry out the protest she has held every year since her brother Adama's death. Only this year, the authorities refused permission. They were fearful of further rioting that has swept France in the past week and a half. That didn't happen. Some pepper spray was used and Traore's brother and another man were arrested before the demonstration broke up. With the march over, the organisers have gathered here where they told us their actions were a success and they denounced the police for trying to stop them. Police say they will prosecute Asa Traore for not formally declaring the demonstration. We, yes, French police are violent. People talk of these youth who rebel at night, but we want to say to them, let's build our anger together. Let's build ourselves. Come and walk with us. Let's talk. Let's organise. Let's find solutions to these problems without resorting to violence. This march was originally planned for the 19th of July but was brought forward to keep the spotlight on the police in the wake of Niall's killing. Police now fear next week's Bastille Day celebrations 